Next up, he's known for his incredible character studies and acting range. He's played Tony Blair, Brian Clough and David Frost, so really, he can only do arseholes. <laughs> it's one of the most talented actors of his generation. It's Michael Sheen. Who is Michael Sheen? I'm David Frost, I'm Brian Clough, I'm Tony Blair, uh, but most of all, I'm brilliant. And now I'm taking on possibly my greatest test yet. Playing Barbara Windsor. Oh, come on, Sheen! In the upcoming biopic, Who Ain't You Saucy? <laughs> it's really important for the success of Who Ain't You Saucy that I get the hair. Oh, God, it looks like straw. It's fucking awful. Yeah, it's perfect. Great. Thank you very much. But for me, the secret of getting Barbara right... <laughs> ...that I get Barbara's very distinctive nails down a blackboard laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've cracked it. Ma, 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 tell your men to drop their guns. Ah, oh, Peggy Mitchell. Oh, complex. Uh, Shakespearean. Get out of my pub, yeah? <laughs> no, that's too Tony, it's too Tony. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of my pub, quick as you like. No, no, it's too cluffy, it's too cluffy. I'm the landlady here. Get out of my pub! <laughs> well, the scene I think I'm most looking forward to filming is the amazingly moving climax uh, where I get to play Barbara Windsor as she is today. Old, wrinkled, <laughs> decrepit, infirm, confused, and of course, semi incontinent. <laughs> Welcome back. What put Barbara on the entertainment map? were her unforgettable appearances in the Carry On films. Barbara had an affair with Carry On star Sid James. She recalls in her autobiography, he'd been pestering me for months. At the time, I didn't even fancy him, but I thought if I did the deed, he'd leave me alone. <laughs> Feminist icon, Barbara Windsor. <laughs> and Barbara, I think... I think, I think a lesson for any young women watching this evening, if a guy is hassling you for sex, probably the best thing you can do, let him have a go. <laughs> Patrick Kielty is our next roaster. Patrick has been a stand-up comedian, a radio presenter, and a TV host. Maybe you should try acting. You must be good at something. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Kielty! <laughs> Thanks so much. And what a joy it is to be here this evening roasting one of Britain's all time favourite birds. Yes, come on, let's hear it for the incredible Barbara Windsor. Hey, there we go, yeah. <laughs> Barbara, or Babs, as she's known to her friends, and, and Granny, as she's known to her husband. <laughs> and, I'm just happy to admit that during her career, she's actually had over 100 lovers. Yeah. She lost her virginity way back in 1955. And then again in 1960 to her first husband, Ronnie. <laughs> For over half a century, Barbara has been the nation's sexiest cockney. Cockney, by the way, is uh, someone born close to Bow Bells. And not something you get from kneeling in men's public toilets, Alan. <laughs> That's what it is. I've got to stop doing that. Oh, okay. oh, Not many people know this, but in the 50s she also sang with Ronnie Scott's band yeah. and was big into jazz. Well, when I say jazz, there may be a letter out there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Over the years. Over the years, Barbara has been linked with many Hollywood leading men. Sean Connery, Michael Caine, Warren Beatty and Steve McQueen are just some of the movie stars who were too scared to fuck her when they find out she knew the craze. <laughs> uh -oh. 
Yes, it's true that Barbara liked nothing better than a criminal with a hard on. So, no, so, sorry, I mean a hardened criminal. And what a lineup she got through, folks. Yes, Ronnie Knight, Charlie Cray, Reggie Cray, Ronnie Fraser. If you were part of the underworld in the 60s, chances are Barbara's been under your part. <laughs> it's true. Over the years, she's blown more of the East End than the Luftwaffe. <laughs> One of her most famous affairs was with George Best. Oh, stop. One of her most... We're not going to list them all. We haven't got the time. <laughs> I've gone right off you, Chica. <laughs> Looks like I'm not going to make it as 101, then. <laughs> <laughs> One of her most famous affairs was with George Best. Oh. That, of course, was way back in the day when you didn't have to be a hooker to fuck Man United's best player. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, During the 1970s, so many men disappeared into her knickers that they renamed her pubes the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> In recent years, Barbara has had a reputation for liking men who are younger than her. Yes. Mainly because the men that are older than her are actually dead. <laughs> <laughs> if she wanted an older man, there's only Bruce Forsyth left. <laughs> and no one wants to wake up in the morning to find two wigs on the bedside table. <laughs> But of course now, Barbara, you've yeah. found true love with Scott, and, yeah. and for me, you don't just epitomise what's the best of Britain. You are Britain. And just like Britain, she let anyone in. <laughs> and so now, we bow our heads and remember all of those who have sailed on her. Here's a few that were screwed, but not forgotten. Thinking, Barbara, you haven't shot me yet, but the night's no. still young. <laughs> um, God bless you, Babs. Oh, thank you. Barbara, according to the autobiography, Barbara has enjoyed the company of over a hundred lovers over a very long period of time, and no one is judging that. But let's face it, the only EastEnder who's better at burying bones is Wellard. <laughs> But Barbara's older now. The only thing she regularly sucks off these days is a Werther's original. <laughs> You're very brave. You are very brave. Welcome back to the roast of Barbara Windsor. A roast is all about examining someone's past. To be honest, Barbara, your past is so dodgy, it was like doing an episode of CSI Wolfen. <laughs> Now, for our next roaster, we wanted one of EastEnders' biggest stars. I think there was some sort of mix-up in communications. Oh. It's testament to what a good actress she is that she's managed to put some laughs into the most depressing show on television. <laughs> it's Cheryl Ferguson! Hey. Cheryl, everyone. Hey. Babsy Boobsy. <laughs> it's been a very great honour to work with Babs on EastEnders. We've become very good friends over the years, and I would share anything with Barbara except my food. Oh. <laughs> Barbara's been like an older sister to me. I mean, 
If I've got a problem on set and she's always there to help me, you know, with a kindly slam of a dressing room door and a FUCK OFF, I'M BUSY! <laughs> <laughs> when I watch Barbara at work, I think to myself, acting isn't about being realistic or believable. <laughs> it's about grimacing and streaking. You're a slut, Kathy Bill! I want you out! Get out of my pub! Slick your rug! I said out! Get out! Get out! She's amazing. <laughs> I mean, sorry, are you are you are you roasting Barbara or auditioning for a better role in the show? <laughs> Babs has also taught me all there is to know about fashion, and I think that's because she was there when it was invented. <laughs> Here she is. That's one of those magic eye designs. I mean, if you stare at it long enough at the pattern, you can make out a woman having a bit of a midlife crisis. <laughs> I miss you on EastEnders. Um, we're all trying hard to get over you leaving. Some of us are having more trouble getting over you than others. Have a look at this. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's meeting of Barbara Anonymous, or BAPS, as we've come to know it. <laughs> Each and every one of us here has, has suffered. So who'd like to start us off, then? Listen. Okay, hello, my name is Nitin Ganatra, and I'm a victim of Barbara Windsor. Um, in the Carry On film, she was famous for her tits, but on the East Ender set, she was famous for being off them. <laughs> Moving on. Who else would like to share their pain? Nina? You know, she had a real problem with other women. In fact, with anyone who had bigger breasts than her. I mean, you know. And Steve with fat and bit the ants, not his fault. <laughs> Charlie, would you like to share your pain? For the whole of my first year, she used to make me come in on a Sunday and do all the scenes again for the omnibus. <laughs> I'm never going to get that time back. I hated her. I mean, we all did. Couldn't say anything against her, though. If you did, you'd be gone the next week. I think mean, perhaps that's a little bit dramatic. Poor old Todd Carty. She hated him so much, she made the writers give him AIDS. <laughs> only meant to be a cold originally. Did you feel no. no. And Jake, it is illegal to post your poo through Barbara's letterbox. Funny though. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Barbara, you have left quite a legacy. You're my inspiration, my education, my friend, and I thank you. Oh, have a great night. God bless.